Hi everybody, and welcome to Hawks United. Let me check in on all of my friends from all of the different classrooms. Hello, Hawks, Hawks friends from room 102. Hello, Hawks friends from room 103. Hello, Hawks friends from room 104. Hello, Hawks friends from room 171. Hi, Hawks friends. Welcome and good to see you. It's Hawks United. It's middle of the fall in November. Hmm. Wonder what could be in the story for today. Oh, 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 oh. What? You said that? What? Oh, 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 oh. Did I give you enough hints? Yes! I have two stories I'd like to read today. One is called A Turkey for Thanksgiving and one is called Turkey Trouble. I like both of these so much that it wasn't quite a clear decision which one to read, so I thought maybe I'd read both. If that's okay with you. The one I'd like to read first, I can't decide. So I think I'll just keep, cl I'll close my eyes and I'll just keep mixing them up and then I'll count to six and then whichever one is in the front by the camera, that's the one I'll read first. You want to count with me? One. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. It's called A Turkey for Thanksgiving. This book is called A Turkey for Thanksgiving. It's written by Eve Bunting and illustrated by Diane de Grote. And I like this picture cover because it's one of those times when the back and front make one big picture to look at. It says in the back, everyone has turkey for Thanksgiving and Mrs. Moose wants one too. So Mr. Moose and his friends set out to find a turkey for dinner. But Mr. Turkey has other ideas. I like how the other animals are dressed up for winter time. Okay. Turkey for Thanksgiving by Eve Bunting and illustrated by Diane de Groot. Let me see if I can move this over. Okay. That's the inside dedication pages. Okay. We'll try. Okay. I think I'm going to see if I can move myself sideways and hold the book here so it might be easier to see. Getting some glare. I'm going to move this over here, away from the sun glare that's coming in my windows. Let's see if I can have it turned here. Okay, I think that might be good. There. Very sunny moment right now in my room. Okay, here we go. Looking at the picture right there. It was Thanksgiving morning. Mr. Moost helped Mrs. Moose set the Thanksgiving table. Sheep will sit here. He likes a chair that's straight up and down. Rabbit here, porcupine here, Mr. And Mrs. Goat over here. He smiled at his wife. Isn't it nice to have friends to share Thanksgiving? They live in a nice house. Mrs. Moose set two paper pilgrims, one at each end of her table. She placed the paper turkey with its great fan of a tail between the candles and stood back. They look good, my dear, Mr. Moose said. Mrs. Moose sighed. Yes, but I wish we had a real turkey. Everyone always has a turkey for Thanksgiving. Everyone. 
but us. Mr. Moose nuzzled Mrs. Moose's head. Well, that won't do. I'll go, I will, I will go this minute and find you a turkey for Thanksgiving. Mr. Moose put on his cap and went out. Mist wandered through the bare trees. The cold made his nose water. Rabbit poked his head out from his rabbit hole. Mr. Moose, is it dinner time? Not quite yet. Mrs. Moose wants a turkey. I'm off to find one. Rabbit joined him in three quick hops. I'll come too. Moose's breath hung white in front of him. Snow crunched under his hooves and made little holes that Rabbit jumped over. I see the goats, Rabbit said. Mr. Goat raised his head and spat out the tin can he was chewing. Is it dinner time? he called. Not till I find a turkey, Mr. Moose said. We saw one down by the river, Mrs. Goat told him. And Mr. Goat added, a fat one. Looks like they're going to meet a sheep next. The goats leaped down from their perch. We'll show you. Sheep was farther up the hillside, looking around as a looking, excuse me, looking round as a fur ball in his winter coat. Is it dinner time? he bellowed. First I have to find a turkey, Mr. Moose bellowed back. There's a turkey nest on the riverbank, sheep called. Wait, wait, wait for me. The earth smelled of ice and moss as they crunched along. Above them, a crow hung, black as a puff of wood smoke. Porcupine was hiding in the underbrush. It's you, he said, and put his quills down. We're off to get a turkey for Mrs. Moose, Mr. Moose explained. Do you want to come? I'm slow, Porcupine said. Pick me up on your way back. Who'd want to pick you up, sheep asked, and laughed his bleat of a laugh. I'll wait, Porcupine told Mr. Moose. Oh, I think they just found the turkey. They saw Turkey's nest right away. Oh, look at how scared and upset he was. And Turkey himself peering over the top of it. Turkey, Turkey, Mr. Moose called in his sweetest voice. Ah! Turkey blundered from his nest and ran. Mr. Moose lumbered after him. Turkey, don't run. We just want you for Thanksgiving dinner. Boo! Turkey ran even faster away. The sign says, do not disturb. Come back after Thanksgiving. Uh-oh. Mr. Moose saw the red and blue sheen of Turkey's neck. Turkey's tail brushed crumbs of snow behind him as he tried to fly. Too fat, Mr. Goat said. Oh, and there, somebody's holding a fork already. Turkey's legs bent in the middle as he fell. Mr. Moose put a booted hoof on his head and smiled his great toothy smile. I hope you don't have other plans for Thanksgiving, Turkey. Look at his poor sad face. It helped, he helped Turkey up. My wife won't mind that you're too fat, he said. Let's go. It's getting close to dinner time. They marched Turkey in front. I'm sorry about this. For I can see you don't want to come, Mr. Moose said, but I must insist. A promise is a promise. All the animals are excitedly following. Wait, that goat is eating a hat. There was a wreath of dried fruit on the moose's door. Inside, the house was filled with Thanksgiving smells. Mr. Moose hid turkey behind him. Look who I brought, Mrs. Moose, he said. Sheep! The goats, rabbit, and porcupine, and ta-da! He pushed turkey around in front of him. For you, a turkey for Thanksgiving! 
Everybody looks happy but the poor turkey. Everyone's around the table. Mrs. Moose clapped her hooves. I'm so happy to have you. Thank you, Mr. Moose. Now everything is perfect. Shall we sit? Sheep asked, heading for the straight up and down chair. Let's, Mrs. Moose pointed. Rabbit here, porcupine here, Mr. and Mrs. Goat here, and look, I brought a chair from the other room in her hopes of a turkey. Turkey stammered. Uh, 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 chair? Right next to me, Mrs. Moose said. Light the candles, Mr. Moose. There were bowls of acorns and alfalfa sprouts dried since summer. There was willow bark and cured grasses and wild parsley. There were pressed leaves, thin and pale as new ice on a pond. I hope you find something here to your liking, Mr. Turkey, Mrs. Moose said. I wasn't sure of your taste. You are so kind to worry about my taste, Turkey said. I thought you'd be worrying about how I taste. Oh, they're not going to eat turkey. They just wanted turkey to join them for the meal. And they have all this good other food to eat, greens and nuts and vegetables. Oh, what good neighbors they are. Heavens no, Mrs. Moose smiled her big tooth grin and filled everyone's cup with cold spring water. It's so nice to have friends around the table at Thanksgiving. We're not going to eat you. Turkey's waddles wobbled. It's even nicer to be at your table and not on your table, he said. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving, Turkey. How sweet. Turkey was the guest at that Thanksgiving meal, not the meal. That was a good one. Well, good, and we do have time to read a second book. This is called Turkey Trouble by Wendy Silvano and illustrated by Lee Harper. If you're finished to listening to stories, you can put click pause and come back or you can turn it off, or you can stay for a second story. Turkey Trouble by Wendy Silvano, and illustrated by Lee Harper. Ooh, look at the fancy writing on the inside of this. It's little tiny dots around the words, Turkey Trouble. Yep, oh, there's a turkey on a plate. Oh, he's on hay, but that's what he's dreaming about, being ready to be eaten for dinner. Turkey Trouble by Wendy Silvano and illustrated by Lee Harper. Oh, this is an opening page, dedication page. People are looking inside the barn, but the turkey is running out. Turkey was in trouble. Bad trouble. The kind of trouble where it's almost Thanksgiving and you're the main course. There he is, he's hiding by the barrel. But turkey had an idea. What if he didn't look like a turkey? What if he looked like a horse? Yeah, so he tied a brush to his head. <laughs> Surely Farmer Jake wouldn't eat a horse for Thanksgiving. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, turkey looked just like a horse. Almost, look, he even wore a saddle. <laughs> and, and tied a brush to his head so it looked like the horse's mane. That's funny. Good try, turkey. Mmm, said Cow. Stop horsing around, Turkey. How'd you know it was me? Moaned Turkey. Too short, said Cow. Oh, 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 grumbled Turkey. But looking at Cow gave Turkey a new idea. Surely Farmer Jake wouldn't eat a cow for Thanksgiving. Hmm. 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 Mm hmm. 
His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a cow. Almost. Look at <laughs> He's wearing a paintbrush on his head and mittens for ears. And he's wearing a black and white pot. Oh, Turkey, you're so scared. Poor thing. <coughs> Snorted pig. Holy cow! Is that you, Turkey? Oh, how'd you know it was me? Groaned Turkey. Too skinny, said pig. <coughs> Grumbled Turkey. But looking at pig, Gave Turkey a new idea. Surely Farmer Jake would need a pig for Thanksgiving. How is he going to do that? How is he going to do that? Oh my goodness. His costume wasn't bad. He's wearing a cup. In fact, Turkey looked just like a pig. And he put a little curly tail on himself and he's sitting in the mud. He looked just like a pig. Almost. Oh my gosh, Turkey, Turkey, Turkey. <laughs> Leaded sheep. Quit being a ham, Turkey. How'd you know it was me? Wailed Turkey. You're too clean, said sheep. Oh, gobbled Turkey. I bet you can figure out what's going to happen next. Yep. His costume wasn't bad. Oops, sorry. But looking at sheep gave Turkey a new idea. Surely Farmer Jake wouldn't eat a mm -hmm, sheep for Thanksgiving. <laughs> no, no. Oh, my gosh. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a sheep. Almost. Oh, my gosh. Look at him. He's wearing sheep wool on his head and his back, trying to fit in. <laughs> Crowed rooster. Bad idea, turkey. How'd you know it was me? Howl, turkey. Too brown, squawked rooster. Oh, said Turkey, but looking at Rooster gave Turkey a new idea. In fact, it was his best idea yet. He already looked a lot like Rooster. This costume would be easy. Surely Farmer Jake would need a turkey for Thanksgiving. Oh my goodness. He's looking in the mirror. He was wearing a red glove on his head. Oh my gosh, Turkey. Or would he? Rooster might be his next choice if he can't find a turkey. Since roosters and turkeys look so much alike, oh no! Oh. Farmer Jake came into the barn. There he is. Turkey, turkey, turkey! Come out, come out, wherever you are! And there goes turkeys running out through a hole in the barn's wall. Turkey, turkey, turkey! Come out, wherever you are! Where's the turkey? asked Farmer Jake's wife. I don't know. I looked everywhere. Oh dear, what will we do without a turkey for Thanksgiving? Well, we could always eat the rooster, I guess. He's hiding in the tomato plants right now. Oh no, not rooster, thought turkey. He looked around desperately for one more idea. Then he found it. He's in the vegetable patch. I don't know what that means. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, it was Turkey's best idea yet. Ding dong. Happy Thanksgiving. Did you order a pizza? Asked Farmer Jake's wife. No, he said, but uh, mm, uh, it's a good idea. So they all sat down and gobbled up the pizza. And it was Turkey's best Thanksgiving ever. Good plan, Turkey. Good plan. And now he is dreaming about owning a pizza farm. <laughs> That's a good one, Turkey Trouble. Thank you, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Show, show, show your thanks in a special way. 
Celebrate, 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 celebrate on Thanksgiving Day. Show, show, show your thanks in a special way. Celebrate, 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 celebrate on Thanksgiving Day. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I'm grateful for you.